Hi guys, it's Draws Mikhail, and welcome back to Mega Man 4. Happy Mega Man Month. Sorry for last video, it wasn't about Mega Man, so sorry. But we are facing Drill Man. Drill Man, a digger robot for a construction site. He has been given an award for finding a gold mine. A good point? He's industrious. A bad point? Haphazard. He likes rush jobs. Heh <laughs> heh rush. Heh <laughs> heh. dog. He dislikes calculations. So, this level, I think it's become go into infamy, not because of like the Metuals who just hop about, but they're super annoying, and they also have these stupid ladybug robots that just fly around and spin at you. How do they even see you a, a quart three quarters of the time? Their head's facing like the other, any other directions. And this is why this uh, level's become into infamy. It's so full of spikes. There are so many spikes. If I wouldn't have, if this was Mega Man 1, I would have died there. And look, there's spikes on the ceiling too. And as usual, if you haven't noticed before, spikes kill you in one hit. In fact, there are so many, uh, the, these, this level is just full of annoying enemies. Especially these guys, they just only are open, and they don't even telegraph when they're open, like like the Hammer Joes. They're just, bam, spikes to the death for the boss. I'm sorry. Now we have to go all the way back to the beginning, and my controller slipped out of its socket because I was getting pissed at something. I wonder if it was because I died. It was. So I just, like, went the fuck out, and you're just like, no, you can't. I, I'm not dying to this, but I did die, die, die to it. Oh, well. as you can see, I fail <laughs> to slide under that enemy, who is usually easy to f slide under. But, oh, well. that extra life was helpful. Two extra lives, uh, I like easy mode, it helps a lot. Because you take half damage and you deal double damage, so, yeah. Ugh, so many spikes. And that one-up over there. It is a waste of a one-up. Because you know, ugh, you're gonna die just to get it. Jesus Christ, I've died like six times trying to get that one one-up. My friend was with me, he knew. This is his favorite Mega Man game because it's the only one we could do well on. Isn't that sad? I mean, we couldn't go do well on Mega Man 5 because of the stupid things in it. We couldn't do Mega Man 6 because we just wanted to do one Robot Master and even, didn't even try any others. Jeez, why? Why didn't we just do it normally? I don't know. Ah, oh, there's an E-Tank up there, that's helpful. And if you just... In the anniversary collection, you can't scroll through rush abilities because they all look the same. Uh, we get a new one at the end of this level and at the end of the next level, too. Because that, Isn't that nice? And that's all the rush powers in this game. Uh, I wish there were more. Oh, I hate these enemies. They just kept bum-rushing you, and they do, like, a, a lot of damage, I think. I'm not sure. I think they would do a lot more if I was playing normally. And there's now boulders. Oh boy, and I can't even hit this enemy most of the time because I'm just, I just suck so much. And there's e even more things in this level. This is like one of the most complex levels in any NES game. You got the switches that reveal platforms, but be careful because there's, there's stupid things right there and other places, but uh, I don't think, yeah, there is. Well... Okay, this jump isn't so bad, but the next one is. Look at this. You have all this, and boom, pixel perfect jump. If you don't notice these boulder things, you, you'll just die. Because they're just so powerful, and they shouldn't be. But, on to the boss anyways. Uh, dive missile, he, was he weak against? Yeah, yeah, he was. Okay, good. To the boss, Drill Man. He's Okay, uh, as usual, they all have a bunch of life. He starts off always by trying to drill and trying to get underneath you, but just keep moving and you won't get hit. Then he jumps and runs, and then he shoots a drill bomb, because 
That makes sense. How do drills explode? I don't know. Capcom logic. Uh, dogs equal things. They're jets. And they're dead. He's dead. I killed him. I'm an asshole now. Ha! 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 And for killing Drill Man in cold, dead oil, we get the Drill Bomb, which was the attack that just... You, you don't you really want to use any attacks in these this one, but some of them are useful. And, uh, oh yeah, the Drill Bomb. It just shoots a drill and it explodes. You got Rush Jet Adapter, which makes Rush transform into... Like a little platform that moves, like item 2 in Mega Man 2. And that's it. Now on to Toad Man! Many people would take him on first because he's a super easy robot master. But me and my friend, we tried to defeat him with the robot, the, the Mega Buster, yeah. And uh, we, just, we just couldn't because we were stupid and we let him charge Rain Flush, which is his ultimate attack. Uh, and this, this starting, this is a very hard level. This is why I don't take this one on first, because I was like, oh, you can't take this one on first, it's super difficult. Ah! And then we took it on, and it was like, ah, this isn't too bad. See, the rain pushes you backwards when you jump. So normally we'd able be able to make these jumps with ease, but now it's just like, ah, uh, you can't go like 50... Five feet in front of your mega ass without dying. Well, not dying, but now. Now we get to the f more easy part of the level. It now just deals with water currents. And I find that to be easier. And if you don't notice those slime, slime enemies on the ceiling, they're the fir they later appeared in Mega Man V for the Game Boy, which is like 60 bucks. Which is the reason I can't play any interesting games unless I emulate them. Uh, speaking of which, I have a stupid story. Like, uh, two days ago, when I released, uh, what did I release? I don't remember. I think it was the first part of this Let's Play. It, I just remembered that I wanted to play, like, Advance Wars 2, and specifically that one, because it had, uh, rockets and ships and planes, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. And, I, and then I, uh... And this mini boss, you just shoot him in the eyes. And he just throws his eyes at you or a bomb. It's pretty simple. You just jump, jump and shoot. And, uh, I just played it for like four hours in a row. I would have gotten an achievement if it was Gary's mod. I just played it for four hours in a row and no one died. No one just got eliminated from the game because I was just facing everyone as myself. And you guys would have just been bored out of your minds because it was just being me. Just being me again, and I find that just to be so fantastic, and uh, I just can't stand the, th the prospect of me recording something for four hours and it being a tactical advanced game. You see, originally I wanted Draws Mikhail to be uh, Phoenix, what, what, what was it? Uh, Phoenix Up and it was something stupid. Phoenix Down, Phoenix Up. Uh, and it was going to be only RPGs that I would play, and I was just... Then I got, like, uh... Uh, what, what was it? Uh, it was... Um... Let me go, let me go look. Okay, I checked, and it was, a uh, Fire Emblem... Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon for the Nintendo DS, which, uh, if some people don't know, is just the original Fire Emblem. But, you, um... Uh, but on better graphics and not on the NES. And don't ride Rush Jet here, it's just so terrible. So, yeah. And then I played that, that game for like uh, five minutes and I was just like, No! I'm not playing RPGs! Uh, there, there were like a m many times when I thought of starting up a channel. Like, when I was uh, younger, I'm not gonna specify age because then people will judge me. Don't judge me! I have many things to judge about you. Like, why are you wasting your time watching me when you couldn't be uh, doing other interesting things that I'm pretty sure are not illegal? Wait, yeah, okay, are illegal, so. Yay. And I died there 
There's so many spikes in Mega Man 4. It is... I like to subtitle Mega Man 4. Mega Man 4! Dr. Cossack's evil spiky plan. So, yeah, I, I, that's a stupid name, but I know, but I don't really care. But I'm glad we're coming up to the end of the level, because I'm, I'm pretty much tired of ranting. And I was thinking, oh, I think I should just, like, record, uh, Wii games, like, uh, Ocarina of Time and Paper Mario. Then I played those games, and I was just like, I can't finish these, they're so goddamn long. Oh, well. And on to Frogman. No, it's Toad Man. I keep thinking it's Frogman. Because he looks more like a frog. He's all smooth. Many people think he's the easiest robot master because all he does is jump at you and occasionally charge. But if you shoot him while he's charging, he won't charge anymore. And what he charges is his rain flush, which is a screen nuke. And, uh, that was it. That was Toad Man. Fuck you, Toad Man. You go suck. You suck already, but oh well. For getting, for beating Toad Man, we get Rush, uh, not Rain Flush, which is a screen nuke. And we also get, uh, Seizures, and also Rush Jets. M Rush Marine, I already got Rush Jet. I used it in this episode. Wow, I'm stupid. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye, bye.